Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to adjust portrait mode blur in photos on iPhone and iPad. Do you take a lot of portrait mode shots using your iPhone or iPad? If so, you may be interested in manually adjusting the level of background blur or bokeh effect according to your liking. Apple allow you to do it during post processing and it's actually pretty easy to learn. That all being said, it's time to learn how to adjust portrait mode blur in photos on iPhone and iPad. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. It's worth pointing out that this feature which Apple calls Death Control is only available on select iPhone models starting with the iPhone XS, iPhone XR and newer devices. As for iPads, you will need third generation iPad Pro or later. To get going learn the stock photos app on your iPhone and then open the portrait photo that you want to adjust the blur for. Then tap on the picture once to access the photos app menu. Next tap on edit from the bottom menu to access the photo editor. Here you will see the f-stop or aperture level at which the portrait photo was taken at the top of your screen. Then tap on f-stop. This will bring up the depth control slider. You can move the slider to the left or right according to your requirement. Note that the lower the f-stop, the higher the level or blur in your picture. Finally, you have to tap on done at the bottom right corner of the screen to confirm the changes. There you go. You no longer have to worry about too much bouquet or too little blur in your portrait shot since you can adjust it accordingly during post processing or if you think a particular picture would look better without the bouquet effect, you can simply tap on the portrait option at the top to toggle it off and see it for yourself. That's all there is to it. So that's how you can adjust portrait mode blur in photos on your iOS or iPad OS device. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iOS and iPad OS hacks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.